Hello, karibu endelee kujifunza na hapa tutaangalia maana na matumizi ya that's when. That's when. Na tutaangalia that's when kwa upande wa sentensi za kawaida ambazo si swali, pia tutaangalia kwa upande wa kuuliza na kujibu swali. Lakini pia tutaangalia namna ya kukanusha sentensi unapokuwa unatumia that's when. Tuanze moja kwa moja na mfano tulionao hapa ili tuone maana ya that's when na vile pia inavyotumika katika sentence. Number one. I came here in 1960. 1960 ni mwaka 1960 lakini kwa upande wa kusoma kwa Kiingereza unasoma namba mbili mbili unasoma namba ya kwanza 19 ambayo ni 19 afu unasoma namba ya pili inayofuata ambayo ni 60 na 60 I came here in 1960 inamaanisha nilikuja hapa 1960 au nilikuja hapa mwaka 1960 and inamaanisha na That's when I started this business. That's when I started this business ina maana tofauti tofauti inaweza kumaanisha ndipo nilianza hii biashara. That's when I started this business. Ndipo nilianza hii biashara. Lakini pia unaweza kusema wakati huo ndipo nilianza hii biashara. That's when I started this business. Lakini wengine pia wanasema hapo ndipo, lakini hapo ndipo ambayo haionyeshi mahali sababu tunajua kwamba that's where pia inamaanisha hapo ndipo kwa mfano that's where i live inamaanisha hapo ndipo ninaishi au pale ndipo ninaishi ninaishi lakini that's when ni hapo ndipo kwa maana ya wakati huo ndipo that's when i started this business wakati huo ndipo nilianza hii biashara au wengine wanafupisha na kusema ndipo nilianza hii biashara lakini kwa maana ya wakati mwanzo mpaka mwisho I came here in 1960 and that's when I started this business. I came here in 1960 and that's when I started this business. Nilikuja hapa 1960 au nikuja hapa mwaka 1960 na hapo ndipo au na wakati huo ndipo au na ndipo nilianza hii biashara au ndipo nilianza biashara hii. Twende katika mfano wetu wa pili example 2. Example 2 iko katika mfumo wa swali na tutaangalia watu wawili wanaweza kuwa katika mazungumzo mmoja akauliza swali lakini mwingine katika kujibu akatakiwa kutumia that's when au akaamua kutumia that's when kwa sababu anaweza kuamua kujibu kwa namna nyingine bila kutumia that's when lakini kwa mfano huu tunaangalia namna ya kuamua kujibu swali kama hili kwa kutumia that's when example 2 a did you do this work in april did you do this work in april inamaanisha ulifanya kazi hii aprili au ulifanya kazi hii mwezi wa nne. Jibu la B linaweza kuwa kwa mfano yes that's when i did it yes that's when i did it ambayo inaweza kumaanisha ndio ndipo niliifanya au wengine pia wanasema ndipo nilipoifanya au ndio wakati huo ndipo niliifanya ndio wakati huo ndipo niliifanya au mwingine pia akasema ndio hapo nilifanya lakini hapo ndipo ikiwa inamaanisha mwezi huo wa au mwezi April hapo ndipo nilifanya wakati huo ndipo nilifanya kwa kifupi ndipo nilifanya yes that's when i did it lakini pia hii it unaweza kaitoa na ukaweka haya maneno mawili this work kasema yes that's when i did this work yes that's when i did this work inamaanisha ndio wakati huo ndipo nilifanya kazi hii au wakati huo ndipo nilifanya kazi hii. Twende kwa upande wa jibu la no. Jibu la no linaweza kuwa hivi. No. That's not when I did it. No, that's not when I did it. Hapana, hapo sipo nilipoifanya au wakati huo sipo nilipoifanya. I did it in May. I did it in May na maanisha niliifanya mwezi wa tano au niliifanya May. Mwanzo mpaka mwisho. No, that's not when I did it. I did it in May. Hapana ambayo inamaanisha hapana wakati huo sipo nilipoifanya niliifanya mwezi wa tano au niliifanya may no that's not when i did it i did it in may tuendelee na mfano wa tatu example 3 na mfano wa tatu una haya yafuatayo example 3 he was fired in 2012 he was fired in 2012 and that's when he decided to become a politician for the rest of his life he was fired in 2012 and that's when he decided to become a politician for the rest of his life tuanze taratibu kipengele kwa kipengele he was fired in 2012 inamaanisha alifukuzwa kazi 2012 he 
he was fired in 2012 and that's when he decided na maanisha na hapo ndipo aliamua au na wakati huo ndipo aliamua wengine pia naweza kusema na ndipo aliamua au na ndipo alipoamua to become a politician to become a politician kuwa mwanasiasa to become a politician for for the rest of his life for the rest of his life na maanisha kwa sehemu yote ya maisha yake aliyobaki au wengine wanafikisha kwa kusema kwa maisha yake yote aliyobaki for the rest of his life kwa maisha yake yote yaliyobaki mwanzo mpaka mwisho he was fired in 2012 and that's when he decided to become a politician for the rest of his life alifukuzwa kazi 2012 na ndipo aliamua kuwa mwanasiasa kwa maisha yake yote aliyobaki au kwa sehemu yote iliyobaki ya maisha yake. Na baada ya kuona huo mfano wa tatu, twende kwenye mfano wa nne ambao sasa uko katika mfumo wa swali pia na ile swali na linatumia the that's when kwa, kwa mtindo fulani ambao unatumika katika swali. Kwa hiyo tu uangalie huo mtindo unaotumika katika swali ikiwa ni upande wa that's when. Number four. Kwa hiyo tume, tumezoea kwamba tunaona that's when ambao that's when ikifafanuliwa ni that is when. That is when kwa hiyo ile is iliyokuwa imeungana na that kupata that inarudi hapa na that inafuata kisha inafuata when. Kwa hiyo badala ya kuwa na that's when tunakuwa na is that when is that when is that when you lost your friend is that when you lost your friend inayomaanisha wakati huo ndipo ulimpoteza rafiki yako wakati huo ndipo ulimpoteza rafiki yako au hapo ndipo ulimpoteza rafiki yako ambayo inamaanisha hapo ndipo kwa maana ya muda kwamba wakati huo ndipo ulimpoteza rafiki yako au kwa ufupi pia mwingine anaweza kusema ndipo ulimpoteza rafiki yako lakini ikiwa inamaanisha muda fulani uliopita ambao wakati mwingine pia umeshatajwa kwa mfano mmeongelea alikuwa na umwa mwezi wa tano afu kauliza ndipo ulimpoteza manake ulimpoteza mwezi huo wa tano twende kwa upande wa jibu kwa hiyo swali is that when lakini jibu that's when kwa tuanze na jibu la yes yes that's when i lost him yes that's when i lost him lakini him ni kwa sababu yule aliyepotea ni wa kiume angekuwa kama aliyepotea lakini hii ni kupotea kwa maana ya kufa kwa hiyo huyu aliyepotea kama ni wa kiume ni him kama alikuwa ni wa kike tungetumia her ungesema yes that's when i lost her au yes that's when i lost my friend yes that's when i lost my friend au yes that's when i lost him kama ni wa kiume yes that's when i lost her kama ni wa kike ambayo inamaanisha ndio wakati huo ndipo nilimpoteza au ndio ndipo nilimpoteza au ndio hapo nilimpoteza twende kwa upande wa no no that's not when i lost him No that's not when I lost him. Inamaanisha hapana, hapo sipo nilipompoteza au hapana wakati huo sipo nilipompoteza. Labda alipotea wakati mwingine, mwezi mwingine au mwaka mwingine. Kwa mfano inaweza kuwa no that no that's not when I lost him. I lost him the following month. Hapana, hapo sipo nilipompoteza au hapana wakati huo sipo nilipompoteza. Nilimpoteza mwezi uliofuata. Na baada ya kuwa nimetoa haya maelezo yote kwa Kiingereza na Kiswahili Nitarudi tena mwanzo mpaka mwisho nisome sentensi baada ya sentensi na wewe fuatisha pia uone kama unaweza kukumbuka kila kitu ambacho nimekisema hapa na maana yake kwa Kiswahili au pia kuona kama na wewe unaweza kutengeneza sentensi zako binafsi tambazo umeziona hapa Tuanze moja kwa moja na number one. example one. I came here in an, I came here in 1960 and that's when I started this business Number two. A Did you do this work in April B Yes that's when I did it No that's not when I did it I did it in May Number 3 He was fired in 2012 and that's when he decided to become a politician for the rest of his life Number 4 Is that when you lost your friend Yes that's when I lost him No that's not when I lost him Nitarudia tena kwa mara nyingine unaweza kusoma pamoja nami Number 1 I came here in 1960 and that's when I started this business. Number 2. A. Did you do this work in April? B. Yes, that's when I did it. 
No, that's not when I did it. I did it in May. Number three, he was fired in 2012 and that's when he decided to become a politician for the rest of his life. Number four, is that when you lost your friend? Yes, that's when I lost him. No, that's not when I lost him. If you want to get some more links, look at the camp for wisdom. Some of the things that you YouTube semi after the video. You should attend the camp for some more things that you can get that you can get. If you want to get some more things, you can come for some more kumi. You can get some more kumi. You can get that you can get. Na kadhalika kutokuna badilisha ile namba ya somo tu lakini maneno yote unatumia hayo hayo ili kupata somo tofauti.